Hi, I'm Jordan Snyder with Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2021 Miramar 34.6. So up front, first thing I always like to talk about is when you go up into the Miramar, this is one of our premier or one of our top gas class A uh, motorhomes in the fleet. Uh, you are going to get, again, a molded fiberglass front cap with a true bus style windshield, so more visibility what you're going to see. You also are making the first jump into a gas class A that gives you a bit the availability to put on full body paint, all right? Uh, you can't get that in any model in the gas class A lineup underneath the Miramar, so this is the first jump where that full body paint option is now available. Um, so chrome Velvac mirrors, similar to what you've seen on some other gas class A's. Again, they're heated, side visual cameras integrated into them, so a lot better visibility if you're making that right or left hand turn in some tight traffic, maybe in that urban area. Um, a, lot of, a lot of cars are on the side, especially in those states that allow maybe motorcyclists and small sports cars or smart cars to drive uh, in between lanes of traffic. A lot of my competition have side vision cameras, but they aren't integrated into the mirrors. Most of my competition put them underneath the belt line over the wheel well, so more of a chance to get coated up by dirt and grime and some of the elements uh, that you would when you're driving in, you know, say, uh, snow or salt covered roads. Moving on down the line, again, armless awning is something you're probably familiar with if you looked at some of our other gas class A's. Uh, what makes this unique is our ability to put more picture windows into the side or the camp side of the coach because you don't have that arm going down the side into the sidewall, restricting our ability to put other windows there. And frankly, it just, it doesn't look quite as clean. So that's why we like the armless awning, but from a functional standpoint, when the awning is out and the nose of that awning moves up or down about eight inches, it will retract itself and keep itself in. Uh, if you are camping at night, you wanna have you know, a nice dinner underneath the skylight. We do have some LED light strips in the brackets of the awning. This is new for 2021 model year. We used to have it at the very end of the awning. However, there are some times where you are camping and you can't bring that awning out quite as far. So when you have to retract it just a little bit, it used to cover up that light strip. So now no matter how far you bring it out, you're still gonna have that nice nighttime lighting if you are uh, doing some you know, nighttime dinners or after dinner cocktails and you wanna have some, uh, some light covering your, your patio area. Uh, mentioned earlier how our, our ability to put you know, windows in the campsite or more windows in the campsite because of that armless awning uh, is really important. But the windows we are using are frameless. So that means you don't see a rubber gasket around uh, the perimeter of the, of the window itself. That's just one less thing you have to treat and worry about you know, the elements of the sun, you know, drying that out and rotting that thus creating a potential problem for your motorhome or a leak point for your motorhome. So what makes this, I would say, better than some other windows is because that gasket's inside the framing of the sidewall, you don't have to worry about protecting that with some uh, aftermarket products, but more importantly, you're able to open that window. It's on a pivot joint at the top. So if you have that warm, rainy spring day, you know, you're not gonna have the worry of a wet motorhome if you go out for a hike and it starts to storm. So, always like to mention that. What makes the Miramar unique is, first off, the chassis. We're on a brand new F53 V8. It's a 7.3 liter from Ford, but you're riding on bigger wheels and tires than you would see in some other traditional gas class A's in our lineup. These are 22 and a half inch wheels we utilize the Alcoa wheels themselves, so they're polished aluminum, they're gonna be cooler on your brakes. Uh, frankly, they just look nicer. And of course, with more rubber on the road, it's gonna be a nicer ride and drivability for you and your family. But because we are utilizing that bigger chassis with the bigger wheels and tires, we're able to have a much larger storage capacity in the basement area. So we'll open some of these up for you to see. And I'd like to mention that when we build these motorhomes, it goes through an upfit process. And the company we utilize is Moride. Moride is an engineering and fabrication company um, that essentially build the foundation for your motorhome. 
So why I bring that up and why it's important, they wanna make sure that the foundation of this Miramar is gonna be flat, level, and square throughout the entire length of the coach. What also they provide that gives us the increased basement storage capacity are the risers we utilize. So the risers are gonna be 13 inches, and that's what's gonna give you the amount of pass-through storage you have. So you have multiple tables, multiple chairs, um, maybe even a bicycle that folds up. Uh, anything like that that you typically take with you on your camping trip, that's important. You have plenty of pass-through storage, uh, plenty of basement storage itself, and of course, all the basement storage compartments are made of rotocast plastic. It's a lightweight, dense, spun plastic that has a 300-pound capacity, and most of our storage bays will have that drain plug in them, so if you have a cooler in there or something that's leak, it's easy to spray out and clean up. I particularly want to go over this storage compartment here because this is where you're going to see your fresh water tank. Making the step up into the Miramar is where you're going to see a double capacity of your fresh water. Some of our models underneath this are going to be at 50 gallons, so here you're going to be at 100 gallons of fresh water. So you know, double the, the, the fresh water capacity. So for those customers that are looking to full time it in an RV, this gives them that comfortability that they are able to do that without the need to always be hooked up to city water lines. And then in this particular floor plan, I always like to mention the outside kitchen. So this is unique to the Miramar this year. It's a brand new floor plan. So huge outside kitchen. What that means is we're gonna give you a mini refrigerator, a sink, and some storage. You also have the outside LP connection for those people who wanna set up a table and put a gas grill. So they're able to really have that, that feel of, you know, I'm grilling out, I've got my drinks here, I'm able to wash up here. So it really does feel like a kitchen. Also wanna mention that the hot water tank we utilize is actually a tankless hot water heater from Girard. Um, this is again, a step up to other gas class A's in our lineup that utilize a six gallon hot water tank. So to have this on demand, instant tankless hot water is a nice feature uh, and it's something you don't typically see until you move up into one of our higher end gas class A uh, units. In the Miramar, we always are gonna have an outside entertainment area. So it gives you a large TV, but what makes this unique is it's on a swivel bracket. So you do have a covering for glare for the TV itself in the sidewall. We obviously also have our armless awning above, but the fact that this is also on a swivel bracket really creates the availability uh, to pivot it any way you want to avoid that glare from the sun if you are doing something like tailgating at your favorite football team or whatever sporting event. In addition to that, we also provide a sound bar. Again, this is standard. The sound bar is hardwired into the TV already, but it is Bluetooth. So if it's something where you wanna to connect to your phone or your tablet and play some music through the sound bar, you have that option as well. Moving on to the back. Because this is our version of putting some diesel type floor plans on a gas platform, we wanna mimic some of those features uh, that they would typically see in that higher end class A market. So a molded fiberglass rear cap is something you typically wouldn't see until you step up into a diesel class A. We do put this on the Miramar itself. Uh, it just looks nicer. It is stronger because it, it is that one piece molded fiberglass. And then of course, down at the bottom, you will have an 8,000 pound hitch. And then up top, you'll see that we also have a backup camera, also standard. And then hard to see, but a rear fuel fill. Every single Miramar is a rear fuel fill. When you pull into the gas station, you don't have to worry as much because of that rear fuel fill. Um, you're able to fill it on either the left or the right side of the pump. In addition to the molded fiberglass rear cap, you're obviously gonna see a ladder um, taking you up to the roof. It's a fully walkable roof. We utilize a TPO roof material, just stands for thermal polyolefin. It's a commercial grade roof material uh, that has a 12 year warranty on it. It's easy to repair. Uh, it's really cost efficient, but more importantly, uh, you don't have to buy any aftermarket supplies to protect it. It's completely resistant to the sun's UV rays, so simply just soap and water is what's gonna work best to clean up that roof material. 
when you are walking up there, you are gonna see a couple things that are new for 2021. One being a 100 watt solar panel with a solar charge controller inside. Uh, that is standard, it's not even an option. So we're automatically gonna provide that for you. Also the WineGuard 2.0. That's the three in one HDTV antenna, a Wi-Fi Ranger and a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you're driving down the road, you need to utilize Wi-Fi for either work or school or whatever entertainment purposes you feel like, it's gonna be able to provide that for you. Here we're on the back side of the Miramar, some call it the non-camping side. So here you're gonna see a super slide or some will call it just a full wall slide. Uh, what makes this unique for us at Thor Motor Coach is actually the slide mechanism that we utilize. It is a Schwintech three track system. The three tracks is proprietary to Thor Motor Coach. What that provides is you have two tracks at the top, one at the bottom, just for increased stability. And again, since model year 2020, you have to have the engine running and the parking brake in to bring that slide out. Uh, we've been doing this for several years now, but uh, since we started that, most of our super slides have had very limited issues uh, with that, again, just providing that extra stability. Talking about the super slide itself on this floor plan, you can see we have plenty of windows creating a lot of natural light. Uh, over here, you'll see a window up top and a window at bottom. That's because this is a bunkhouse model. So we wanted you know, that kid on the top bunk as well as the bottom bunk to have their own picture window. So plenty of natural light, which you'll see when we go inside the motorhome. And of course, being one of the larger, one of our premier gas class A units, you have a ton of storage. So I'll open up some of these storage bays for you. Here you'll see our Onan 5500 watt generator. So it is a 50 amp coach with two ACs. Again, some of our pass through storage. One thing to note is our double sided slam latch baggage doors. They are insulated. Um, they do have a protective barrier on the inside, what we call an automotive bulb seal. So if you have some valuables in there, it's sealed up nice and tight, but these are doors that are very similar to something you'd see on a diesel class A motorhome. So we'll open up some of these, and again, some of the best storage we have in our class A lineup. It's a great thing to do if you are working with a customer who maybe came from a class C, is to show them all the increased storage. I think one of the main things a customer is looking for when they make their jump to their next motorhome is more storage capacity. With the increased basement storage capacity, when you step up into the Miramar, it's a great thing to talk about and show as well. So here inside the Miramar 34.6, up front in the cockpit area, uh, first thing I wanna talk about, again, really exciting for the RV industry in itself, or I should say motorhome industry itself, is the utilization of this new Ford F53 chassis with the new 7.3 liter V8. Uh, with that engine comes some additions inside as well. So you will have a brand new steering wheel and steering column with uh, hands-free control. So you're not you know, reaching over to the stereo, or reaching down somewhere to turn up the volume or adjust your Bluetooth or uh, sync up anything on your uh, digital dash cluster. So having the ability to you know, change the controls on your radio, adjust the volume, and of course, uh, your normal controls as far as cruise control, uh, that's all done from the steering wheel itself. So nice look and feel, also uh, very functional as well. Um, in addition to that, because we're on a V8 instead of a V10 like we had in the years past, you'll notice a much smaller doghouse. So the doghouse is uh, in essence just a cover that you know uh, protects the area where the engine is underneath and radiates a lot of heat. So a much smaller doghouse, uh, less chance of the customer tripping over themselves or spilling a drink. You of course have cup holders up here. So uh, it's something to note because it's a complaint that we used to have all the time and in the class A market. I mentioned the dash radio. It is a 10 inch touchscreen dash radio. It does have that Sirius XM satellite radio tuner on board. We do provide three months free uh, as soon as this, the customer takes delivery of the unit. Uh, in addition to that, there is navigation on board as well as the backup camera that you can turn on. If you are towing a vehicle behind you, you can keep that on the entire time. In addition to the backup camera, you're also going to have the side vision camera. So if you're gonna turn right or turn left, you hit that turn signal, 
those cameras are gonna pop up on this screen as well. Moving over here to the passenger side, this is what we call the power workstation. So this table pulls up and over. So it's a nice working area for those people who are utilizing a laptop or an iPad or any sort of tablet. Uh, you also have the ability to charge that because at the bottom, essentially where that passenger's right foot is gonna be, uh, there is a 110 outlet and it is inverted. So on board, there is an 1800 watt inverter. So what that means is you don't have to run your generator to get that 110 power from that particular outlet. So again, nice feature. Uh, lastly, uh, but not least, of course, is this chair for the driver is a six-way power chair. That is a standard feature on the Miramar. Of course, both chairs swivel and turn around, become a part of that living space that we're in right now. Uh, but this having a six-way power chair feature just creates a lot more adjustments. So for maybe that you know super tall person or short person, you can have the best comfort available uh, for you when you are taking those long road trips. Uh, as we stand up, you'll notice that here we have a drop-down overhead bunk. It is a 500-pound capacity. Uh, it does come with a ladder, of course, but this is available throughout the entire lineup of the Miramar, so it is not an option, it is standard. So every single floor plan will have this. Having the ability to fit two adults creates a lot of living space, creates a lot of sleeping availability in the bunkhouse model more than just utilizing the two bunks uh, in the back. Stepping up into the Miramar, there's some additional features inside that you wouldn't see in some of our other brands. So I always wanna make a note to talk about it. Uh, it's a little thing, but it could go a long way. It could be a wow factor for a customer. And one thing I always like to show are the roller shades, all right? It's a nicer feature than you would typically see at some of our lower price point class A's. It is gonna keep the sun out. So it is gonna keep your coach a lot cooler in those summer months. Uh, and of course, provide that privacy as well. Something you'll see on every single Miramar floor plan is a 12 volt attic fan. Uh, it's nice to have if you are frying up something in the kitchen, could create a little bit of smoke. So having this in the kitchen area is gonna be a nice feature to help ventilate that, uh, create some fresh air. Or if you just wanna save um, some money, maybe not run your ACs as much, create some uh, cool cross breeze, open up the windows, turn on your attic fan. A lot of customers love to do this to create some natural airflow throughout the coach. In addition to the kitchen area fan, you'll also have one in the bathroom, another 12 volt attic fan. So if you are taking a hot steamy shower, you wanna be able to ventilate that as well. This particular fan, as well as the bathroom attic fan, is available to be controlled by our multiplex system, which we'll talk about here in a second. When you step up into this gas class A model, you are gonna have, again, 84 inches interior ceiling height, so a true seven foot interior ceiling height, but also, now you're getting soft touch padded ceilings. Just a nicer feature. Again, something you typically don't see until you go into that diesel class A market, that high-end luxury class A market, but now on a gas platform. So in the 34.6 up here in the living area, you are gonna see a dream dinette that drops down. It does become a sleeping area for those guests. Also, you have a pose seating here, sofa with the option for the theater seats. These theater seats do recline. Um, so you do have many different options for seating and sleeping. If you were to have the sofa option here, that would be a sleeping area as well. Uh, moving into the galley, here you'll see a different cabinetry that you haven't seen in any other Class A uh, underneath the Miramar. So when you step up into this more of a high-end gas Class A, you're gonna see what we call, this is the regatta wood. So uh, it's a little more modern wood, it's the same uh, cabinetry that we have in our diesel Class A market. In fact, this particular model, the Miramar itself, is built in the same plant as all of our diesel Class A motorhomes. So, uh, plenty of storage, of course, we talk about that on the outside, but nicer touch and feel, really nice look. The solid surface countertops with the under counter light, accent light, new for 2021. The recessed double bowl stainless steel sink gives it that residential feel as well and then moving over here you'll have two gas burners as well as an induction cooktop so if you're limited on the amount of lp you have left and you are hooked up uh, to a campsite that is providing that 50 amp service for you you can utilize the induction cooktop and save a little bit of that lp uh, plenty of storage of course we always want to talk about that 
your drawers, really deep drawer glides. So plenty of space, give you that feel just like you would have in your home. So in addition to the solid surface countertop and the recess sink, we do want to provide some additional countertop space for you. So having these sink covers will increase that countertop space for you. Um, so you don't have to worry about being very limited in your food prep. Um, with this new cabinetry, we have more of an updated hardware. So nice stainless steel hardware look on all these cabinets. And again, plenty of storage in the galley area itself. Since we have the storage underneath, the stove top, you're obviously noticing that there's no oven. So we do provide a convection oven microwave for you. So if it is some baking that you would like to do, you do have that ability with this microwave. And then across, of course, you have your 12 volt refrigerator. So plenty of space if you're looking to go on long trips or even full time it in the motorhome. And of course, on the right hand side, you have your pantry with some pull out drawers as well. When you step up into the Miramar Gas Class A, you are gonna find that every single floor plan is a king bed, but also on a tilted view. So for some of those customers that maybe have a posturepedic type bed at home, uh, this is gonna be uh, not quite the same, but at least somewhat similar. So a little more comfortability. Uh, if they wanna do some reading at night, of course, with the TV right here, it's a little more comfortable to watch their favorite television show uh, and sit up at night, uh, or sorry. <clears throat> If they want to do some reading or want to watch some television, it's a little more comfortable for that customer. Of course, having the walk around availability, it's nice. They're able to make the bed a lot easier. But also, if you look on the side, we have USB ports. So charging their phones, charging their tablets. Uh, it'll be on either side. And on this side, there is a 110 outlet. Again, I talked about earlier up in the cockpit area, it is gonna be an inverted outlet. So for those customers who have a need for a CPAP machine, that's something they can plug into as well. Of course, storage can't go in a room without talking about storage. So plenty of space it above and around the bed for the cabinetry here. <clears throat> in front of the, I'm kind of goofing up here, sorry. Um, <clears throat> In front of the bed, obviously I mentioned there is a TV. There's also some storage behind the TV as well. So really cool, unique feature, kind of a hidden feature, if you will. So if you have maybe some valuables, some stuff you wanna uh, keep from the kids, <laughs> that's something you can put behind the TV. Plenty of drawer space here. Again, this is a model that is you know, designed for people to want to full time in it, if they have that, uh, have that desire. So we have uh, plenty of storage here, full wardrobe right here. And of course, if you see a wardrobe that has the louver doors, that's just gonna tell you that it is washer and dryer prep. Inside the bathroom of the Miramar 34.6, you'll see some nice features and amenities that you won't see in some of our other price point gas class A's. Uh, specifically, when you walk in, you're gonna notice a solid glass shower door versus a shower curtain. Of course, porcelain toilet, and then you have four storage areas up top above the sink, and then your controller for your instant tankless hot water heater. In the 34.6 Miramar, this is the bunkhouse model. So here you'll see uh, six foot bunk beds, top and bottom for those guests or kids who travel with you. Um, if you don't have the need for that, we do provide a dowel rod in here. That's because this is also utilized as a closet if needed. Um, so great addition to you know, those people who want more storage, more wardrobe space. They're not gonna have kids on this particular trip. So all you have to do is actually just raise this bunk up. There is a latch there to keep this top bunk um, elevated. And then of course, with your dowel rod, plenty of space for your belongings and your clothes. These drawers, I'm sorry, these doors also close up. So again, just like a closet you would have at home. New this year for 2021 in the Miramar bunkhouse, we did provide something new and unique. That is tablet holders. We felt 
this is going to be more current with the times a lot of kids are having you know ipads or any similar tablet so being able to take that from the couch into their bedroom area and put that up there on the wall is going to be really efficient for them we do provide two usb ports on the top bunk as well as the bottom bunk with a 110 outlet and a coax cable so if they were to provide a tv or want that need to have a tv in there they can do that as well Here on the outside of the bathroom in the Miramar 34.6, you're gonna see three things that are really unique, uh, really important to talk about. Uh, here at the bottom, this is your Xantrax 1800 watt inverter. It's how you power on that inverter. Uh, up above that is your solar charge controller. So this is gonna actually give you an output reading of where your house batteries are at. And again, you have plenty of sunlight you know, with that 100 watt solar panel it's going to keep a, a full charge to your house battery so it's always nice to have that to get an actual visual reading of where your house battery life is at currently and then of course above that this is our firefly multiplex system essentially your command center for operating and setting up your campsite uh, wherever you go so here the home button is going to give you a readout of your master on and off switch for your lights your fresh gray, black, and LP tank levels. Of course, turn on your water pump. Bottom left grid, it'll show you where your thermostat is at for the front and the rear. And of course, bottom right, this is where you're gonna have a readout of your house battery, your chassis battery, starting and stopping your generator, and if you wanna enable or disable your auto gen start. Speaking of that, the lightning bolt symbol here, this is your auto gen start settings. It's a great feature to talk about, especially for those customers that have pets. Uh, they do some hiking or biking, hit the trails, and it's a warm day. Uh, you want to save some, some fuel, save some energy. Uh, you'll want to utilize this. You'll want to hit HVAC load. It'll be controlled by your thermostat. So if you do have a pet uh, inside the coach and it gets warmer, say, than 73 degrees. This will automatically kick on your generator, thus turning on your AC and cool down your coach. Uh, of course, for those campsite areas that have a quiet time hour, you have a quiet time start and stop. So for those certain campsites that want you to not run your generator at a certain time or a specific time to start it or stop it, you can actually designate that time here. And then over here, this will be your battery voltage setting. So of course, if your house batteries get too low, it'll kick on the generator, thus charging your house batteries. And then of course, uh, some other features over here, minimum generator runtime, as well as maximum generator runtime. And then the light bulb symbol, symbol sorry, the light bulb symbol, pretty self-explanatory. This is to control all of your lights, but something to make note of in this grid layout here, you'll notice that there are a lot of symbols that have up or down arrows next to them. All that means it is a dimming feature. So if you press and hold, it will dim the lights down. And then if you press and hold again, it'll dim the lights back up to where they normally are. So you'll have that in this particular floor plan, in the living room area, the hallway, as well as the bedroom area. And that's it. <laughs> um, thermostat symbol. Pretty self-explanatory, this is control your AC as well as your furnace. So you have 50 amp service in this coach, so an AC up front in the living area as well as in the back in your bedroom area. You can independently control each one if you want. Attic fan, I mentioned this earlier, you have one in the kitchen as well as one in the bathroom. The one in the kitchen is really unique, you actually have a cover. So if you want to open that cover, you can do that with this symbol right here or close it with this symbol right here. And of course, bringing out your slides, probably the most important thing in setting up your campsite. Uh, here, it is a really nice layout by color and uh, by, sorry. Here it's a nice, it's a really nice layout because everything is set up by color coordinated. So you'll have your dinette slide to extend or retract as well as your awning to extend and retract. And of course, your drop down overhead bunk. Here is controlled right here where it says front bunk. On the top right corner, you'll see that slides is locked, awnings and bunk are unlocked. So again, to bring out that slide, you have to have your engine on and the emergency parking brake in. 
And then once you turn off your engine, you are able to now bring out your awnings or bring down your bunk. And then last but not least, probably the coolest feature on this Firefly Multiplex system is the availability uh, to control everything I just talked about from your mobile phone or a tablet. So by clicking mobile app in the top left corner, it's gonna show you the app that you would need to download, whether you have uh, Google Play or, or the Apple App Store, it's gonna show you what you need to download and provide you a specific ID for this particular unit. It's almost like a VIN number for this, um, it's almost like a VIN number for this particular unit. So it's gonna be specific for this coach, even though we're gonna build multiples of this floor plan, you don't have to worry about someone else who may have another Miramar 34.6, are they able to control your coach as well? Uh, it's gonna be completely independent to this head unit. And then of course, you're gonna be able to set your own pin specific for your phone, whoever in your family is gonna utilize that feature as well.